In this lesson, we're going to learn about JavaScript number types. Now, as you'd expect, numbers are used a lot in programming. Whether it's a value on a spreadsheet, the number of lives remaining in a game, or calculating advanced 3D trigonometry, numbers play a heavy part. Now, here I have Firebug's development console open, which allows us to run snippets of JavaScript. In most browsers, you can press F12 or Control shift i to open the developer console. Now you can use numbers in much the same way as you would on a calculator. Whole numbers, which are known as integers, are simply entered as you'd expect, and you don't use thousand separators. So you'd write one million as a one, followed by six zeros. And if we run that, we can see that JavaScript has correctly stored the value. Now floating point or real numbers simply use a decimal point or period. And you always use a period, even if it would normally be a comma or some other character in your natural language. So to represent an approximate value of pi, we could enter 3.142. And we run that and JavaScript's more than happy. Now in some computer languages, they use strongly typed notation, which means that you have to specify whether a number is an integer or a floating point number, and sometimes even the precision of that number. Now JavaScript doesn't care, and it's quite happy for you to mix values. So we could add two, 2.2, run it, and it'll show 4.2. Which brings us nicely to arithmetic. Now you can use mathematical operators such as plus, minus, multiply and divide to perform calculations. So let's try 2 plus 3. And we get 5. Or well, 3 minus 2. And we get 1. Or well, 2 multiplied by 3 using the asterisk character. And we get 6 or 6 divided by 3, which uses the slash character, and we get 2. Now there's also a modulo operator represented by a percent sign. Now it returns the remainder when the first number is divided by the second. So let's see an example. 14 modulo 4. If we run this, we get a result of two. Now this is because four goes into 14 three times, which equals 12, and there's a remainder of two left over. Now modulo can be very useful. For example, if you wanted zebra colors applied to table rows, so every other row had a background color of gray, you could take the current row number, apply a modulo of two, and if the result was zero, you would apply the background. So here's a quick test for you. I want you to work out the result of this calculation. What do you think it will be? Now in normal arithmetic, you would expect to add 1 to 2, which equals 3, and then you would multiply that by 3 to get 9. Let's see if that's the case. So what's gone wrong? Well, it turns out computers don't quite work like that. Each operator has a precedence, which is an order of priority. Multiplications, divisions, and modulo operations have a higher precedence than addition or subtraction, so they're done first. Therefore, what happens is that 2 is multiplied by 3 to get 6, and then 1 is added to get 7. Now, the easiest way to fix this is to use parentheses or brackets. And if we run it now, we correctly get 9. Now JavaScript has no problem evaluating any expressions containing multiple brackets as long as you have a starting and end one. So for example, 1 plus 2 multiplied by 3 plus 4 all divided by 7. Now I suggest you open Firebug or your development console and have a play with numeric values.